This time we're going to be looking at how to care for and maintain your sword collection. Well, my sword collection, but if you have a sword collection of your own, you'll be able to do it as well. So the first thing we need to, to be concerned with is our position when we're going to be cleaning our swords. We want to be a, in a position where things can't fall or drop, uh, thereby reducing the risk of getting cut or stabbed by the sword we're actually trying to clean. And to that end, this little video segment that I'm going to show displays that. So here we go. Switch over and play. Notice that I'm seated on the ground and in a position that is comfortable, yet not causing any uh, chance for me to fall over either side. And now I'm going to pick up one of my wooden swords and demonstrate the way to hold it. And you want to hold it with the cutting side facing away. And just so you can see that, the cutting, out, cutting edge is always the one on the uh, outward bend. And now the way that we're going to be cleaning it is starting at the hilt and making passes all the way down. Do this two or three times on one side of the blade. And then once we're done, we're going to switch it over, keeping the sharp side away from you. And we're going to re repeat what we did on the other side. Now, if you have a sword that has two cutting edges, then just be careful, but still make sure you're holding it right. So now, let's dive back into the into this view so I can talk to you. Uh, we want to talk about the kinds of cleaning uh, materials that we have. Uh, the first, and this is for wall hanger swords, you can use glass cleaners. So I've got name brand Windex and then we've got our generic Walmart brand glass cleaner which just swap out Walmart brand for any brand of glass cleaner and you've got a working cleaner. When it comes to the real swords and blades, you want to go to something that will provide more protection than cleaning value. And by that, I mean you want a gun oil, something that's going to keep moisture from oxidizing the blade of the sword. And rim oil is easy to get uh, from most any place that they sell guns. And that's what we're going to go into next. Uh, also, when you're cleaning a wall hanger blade, you can use paper towels because uh, all you're doing is getting the dust off, the debris off. 
but when you're going to work on a real blade you want something that is cloth and there are these cheesecloths they work really well just cut them up into strips or if you're like me and have a whole bunch of shirts that have just reached their end of usability, you can take the shirt and cut it down into strips as well. So with that said, let's dive back into the video. And so here's the first sword I'm going to be cleaning, or blade. And there's a right way and a wrong way to open them, and we're going to get to that in a bit. But for right now, let's get the blade unsheathed. And just make sure the and always have it like that. Uh, and here's the cleaner. And what you're going to want to do is take a paper towel. Once you get the paper towel, you're going to spray onto the paper towel. You never want to, to get into a, a practice of spraying cleaner onto the blade, even if it is just a wall hanger, for the simple reason that it is a bad practice. You want to spray what you're going to be using to clean it with. And then, like we did with the wooden blade, we're going to put it down and swipe. And swipe. Three times. And now we're going to uh, switch it around. It had to figure out how it's going to do that holding everything. And do the other side of the blade. For a wall hanger, you want to do this because it will get any fingerprints or smudges off of it. And now that is a clean blade. And let's go ahead and put it back in its sheath or scabbard. And now for the real blade. So again, have it on the ground. It makes it easier. And we're, again, do we want to use glass cleaner? No, we don't, because glass cleaner all that's going to do is leave a nice surface for oxygen to get at and start the horrible process of rust. Gun oil. That's what we want. Because that will provide a protective oily film on the blade. So let's get this one opened up. And we're keeping the sharp side away from us. Now we're going to get the proper cleaning cloths. I'm going to take one of them and fold it over. Notice that it's nice and clean. And this 
we're going to use as a brace on the other leg so that we don't get any gun oil onto the other leg. And now we're going to take another of our cloths and just show that it's nice and clean as well. And fold it over because we don't need it all opened up. And we're going to get our gun oil. And once again, just so you can see the name of the oil, it's rim oil. Now, do we want to spray the blade itself? No, we don't. We don't want to do that because that's a bad habit to get into. What we do is spray it on the cloth, give a nice little layer, and now starting at the hilt, take it down the end, uh, down the blade, and I'm looking at it to make sure it looks Okay, and now we're going to flip it over to the other side and do the other side of the blade. And of course, if you need more oil, go ahead and put some more oil down. And Swipe the blade a couple of times on that side to get it looking nice and clean. And there you can see nice shiny clean blade. Put it back in its sheath or scabbard. And switch back to me. Well, this me, not that me. And that's how you go about cleaning a sword in a way that, or, or any blade really, that needs a bit of care. So sword blades, uh, wall hangers, if you've got, well, anything made of steel or iron that can rust, you want to use a gun oil as opposed to a water-based because water-based is going to get what you don't want in, which is oxygen. Also, there are kits that they sell. Let me pull one up here. And they will generally look like this. And these have this little ball here that You shake out uh, some powder onto the blade to absorb the oil, but that generally most sword collectors don't appreciate this, and the oil that you're provided isn't uh, normally the best quality that you can get. 
And if you need a little hammer to knock out the pegs, if you're trying to, to put it away to store it, uh, this is not the best hammer for that. So all in all, it's just not a, not a worthwhile investment to, to go with those kinds of, of uh, sword cleaning kits. Just get some cloth that's lint free and some gun oil and you're pretty much good to go. And with that, this session of the swords series is going to be over. That's all for this session of Polygonal Art with Juracy. If you enjoyed what you saw, how about giving this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos from me. In the video description below, you'll find my Patreon link. Feel free to check it out. Now, on to the credits.